let's compare the volume of CSTR in PFR required for a given conversion. We have a CSTR in PFR reactor of equal volume available. Which one do you choose to reach the desired conversion? The answer is that for most cases, for positive reaction orders, the volume of CSTR will need to be larger than that of PFR for the same conversion. And more, the higher the conversion, the greater will be the difference between the necessary CSTR and PFR volume. A PFR typically has a higher efficiency than a CSTR of the same volume. The concentration profile for CSTR and PFR shows us how the concentration of the reactant falls immediately to the final value in CSTR and how the concentration of the reactant in PFR is falling exponentially. Since the CSTR operates at its lowest reaction rate, its efficiency will be lower than that of PFR, whose reaction rate is decreasing gradually. That is, given the same space-time, or to say the same volume, a reaction will proceed to a higher percentage completion in PFR than in CSTR. Let's demonstrate this difference in the necessary volumes on the Levenspiel plot. We know by now that the reactor volume for CSTR and PFR is a function of inverse of the reaction rate. Let us recall design equations for CSTR and PFR and draw a Levenspiel plot where both volumes are displayed. For an isothermal case, this is what we always consider, the CSTR volume will typically be greater than PFR volume for the same conditions, so for, for the same desired conversion. This works for positive reaction orders. So why is that? Why is the volume of CSTR larger than for PFR. CSTR operates at the lowest reaction rate, that is, at the rate which corresponds to the final conversion, so the highest conversion or the lowest concentration. PFR, however, starts at higher rate and then decreases till the exit rate. This is the operating point of CSTR and this is operating line of PFR. CSTR operates at the lowest rate, that means the necessary volume will be larger than for PFR. 